Good evening, I'm Cor Harlan. We begin with breaking news tonight of a deadly hit and run in Forest Grove. We know right now that a little girl has died and her older sibling has now been life flighted to an area hospital. The crash happened just before 8.30 tonight near the intersection of 17th and Main Streets in Forest Grove. Quinn Six's Chris Holmstrom has just finished speaking with police. He's live tonight there in Forest Grove at the very latest. Chris? Cor, that's right. A very depressing, sad story out here. At this point, we do know that a six year old girl has died, and her 10 year old sister was taken to the hospital in critical injuries. Now, I'm told the call came around 8 o'clock this evening. Someone calling to report about an accident involving a pedestrian. And joining me right now is Mike Erb with the Forest Grove Police Department. I know there's a lot of information that we still don't know. Do we know where these two young girls were at the time of the accident? We believe they were playing outside of their home, partially in the Greenway area where there was a pile of leaves and partially um, over the curb and probably right near uh, the end of the street. And uh, a father had heard the noise of a vehicle and uh, came running out and realized that both of his uh, girls had been, had been hit. And one of the things you mentioned is that at this point, still no suspects. You're, you're still looking for whoever did this. Tell me, what's the latest on that? That's correct. We don't have a suspect vehicle description at this time. Uh, we are urging anybody with information to come forward uh, and contact the police. It is possible uh, that they were playing in the leaves and, and this individual does not know that they hit somebody. So we're urging that person to come forward. They would have been driving tonight southbound on Main Street in Forest Grove in the 1700 block around 825, 830 p.m. And at this point, you plan on being out here for several hours, is that right? That's correct. We plan on being here for several more hours, at least. All right, Mike, thank you very much. And we'll continue to update you on this developing story. Reporting live, I'm Chris Holmstrom, Quinn 6 News.